yes europe is pretty aligned towards sustainability um lifestyles i mean i would use the term lifestyle because lifestyles would create certain demands which can be supplied by you know different stakeholders industry players and then they have to operate in a sustainable manner because the the customers perhaps are just looking forward to having such a, certain experiences that at the end of which they feel that they've you know positively contributed or have it in a neutral manner that they never had a bad footstep at at, at the place that they were still i'll give you an example the um owner or the founder of trip doula the organization where i work she recently went to a trip to jordan um and there in exactly she was having this hike and during the hike she carried a plastic bag wherever she was going she saw you know bits and pieces of garbage here and there she used to collect it having this you know disposable glove collecting all this garbage and by the end of the trek she had collected this huge bag and the locals asked her very you know cu- out of curiosity like it's not even your country right so why are you engaged into this and her immediate response was because of the lifestyles that they have so europe as a place when the demand is so high i think the supply side would see you know immediate business in it it's lucrative it's good for the planet and that's why it is sustaining the whole concept of responsible tourism from the demand side and sustainable tourism from the policy and the industry side so that's my personal take on europe i feel i've seen great initiatives when it comes to community based tourism in india in third world countries like mexico and egypt yes you know there there's huge gap when it comes to um different set of parameters let's say environmental uh, uh policies or how hard are they are they being followed if yes then are they being regulated time to time himachal pradesh is a great example but i won't take my eyes off you know some of the great initiatives that are happening across the country i i believe there's a starting point to everything all these tiny initiatives are you know the gateway to bigger things happening and again think about this from this perspective if i am running a business uh let's say a cafe and i'm spending 100 dollars on sustainability every month i would be looking forward to this from a very clear lens if 100 dollars are getting invested from my side i want something in return so that my business sustains so sustaining the business and then the business taking care of the real sustainability around the world is the way forward so demand side actively looking forward to certain things i think is the way ahead